Hey everyone, welcome to the page. I'm Ken Smith with Ken Smith Gallery, and today I'm going to talk to you about seatbelts. That's right, seatbelts. And today we're going to talk about seatbelts in the Model A and what I did to keep myself at least a little bit more safe and perhaps survive an accident. Uh, and blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, welcome to the page. I'm Ken Smith with Ken Smith Gallery. Today we're going to talk about seatbelts in the Model A and the modifications that I made for my car. Now I want to emphasize in this video that in no way am I telling you how to put seatbelts in your car and what type of seatbelts that you should put in your car. That's my 100% disclaimer. I'm only showing you what I did because I wanted to keep myself as safe as possible. You need to investigate on your own the best way to install seatbelts on your car. Again, I'm only showing you what I did. And I hate to start the video out that way, but unfortunately, we just live in a world where things happen and we live in a world where it's a sue happy world and I don't wanna be sued. I don't wanna put my family in, in any sort of liability. So again, I'm just saying third time, this is how I installed seatbelts in my car you need to investigate on your own the best way to put seatbelts in your car. Take it to a professional if you have any questions or concerns. Now, that being said, let's talk about seatbelts. Marvelous. Now, you'll end up needing to do your own personal research like I did. Uh, there's lots of uh, seatbelt manufacturers that are out there. I ended up going with Wesco Performance uh, just based on my research. Um, if you navigate uh, down here on their website, uh, which is wescoperformance.com, you can just go to seatbelts. Um, you will find plenty of information that's out there. Um, these are your traditional uh, seatbelts. And I ended up, for the front seat, I ended up going with this particular seatbelt, the four-point uh, push-button buckle. And uh, this is what I have installed in the front seat. You can see that um, by the color chart, there are, these are the standard colors that come. And then there's a choice of uh, custom colors if you want to go with that. And also, really good installation instructions, step-by-step, -step, tell you how to Install the seatbelts, and if you go to their hardware page, lots of hardware brackets that you can use to fit your seatbelts in your car however best you feel they need to be installed. So this was... Uh, Again, this is Wesco Performance, wescoperformance.com. This is who I ended up using. Very pleased with their seatbelts. And that is pretty much it. So these are the seatbelts that, uh, that I've got here in the front seat. And just to show you how they work, um, this is the lap portion right here. And uh, just like any other seatbelt, you would stick your arms through this so that it goes kind of over your, over your shoulder area, over your chest area. These lock just like you see right there. They cinch just like you see uh, a regular airport seatbelt. And as uh, you raise this up, that uh, removes the tension. The same works with the front. 
uh, you sense this up and raise it up to remove the tension. So this, uh, when this sits on your body, um, you can see, and I got that tangled up, sorry about that. But um, you can see that uh, um, if you uh, were in, there we go. If you were uh, had this over uh, your shoulder and um, you cinched this up, once you've cinched it up, there's no way that this is coming done. It's not moving. Same with the, uh, the lap section as well. Uh, once you've cinched it up, it's not moving. And so this is uh, what I did here for the front. Uh, let's take a look at how I uh, got this back strap attached. Okay, this is how the uh, harness uh, back uh, for the front seat um, attaches. This is the back strap. It also is adjustable just like uh, all the other straps. And um, you can see that adjustment right there. Uh, I'm kind of a big guy, so I have it all the way out, and I just prefer to make all my adjustments in the front. Your mileage may vary, but this is, again, this is just how I installed it. And um, I didn't have a problem drilling through uh, the carpet, uh, quite honestly, um, because it's not the original carpet that's in here. And uh, you've heard me say this multiple times. This is not a show car. It's never going to be a show car, at least while I own it. Um, it is only going to be um, a driver. And I'm totally fine with that. I want to enjoy the car while I'm still alive and still vertical. So, uh, again, this is just how I did it. Okay, I think you can see how I ended up mounting the front seat belts. I actually used the existing holes that were already in there. I couldn't see drilling more holes. Holes were already there from the previous seat belts. So that's just what I did. Alrighty, a little tricky to show you how I uh, bolted uh, through the seat and into the floor of the car, but this is essentially what I did. I used uh, their hardware kit uh, that uh, I showed you online earlier and used their fasteners and we went through the uh, floorboard um, and uh, that is how we um, attached um, the seat belts not only for the front that you see here but we also did the same thing for the rear. Now for the rear seats you can see that we just used their standard lap belts. Uh, these uh, work exactly the way uh, your airport uh, uh, or your airline seatbelt would work and buckle, cinch, tighten up, and you're good to go. So this is what we have for uh, the rear. Now, the reason why we chose this was kind of twofold. Um, I hardly ever have anybody sitting in the back seat to begin with. Um, and uh, getting the front seat belt type of harness to insert in the back uh, was quite challenging. And I had actually taken the top off and looked at the possibility of doing that. It didn't seem feasible. So I opted to go with lap belts. And uh, they, uh, the reason why they're black and not brown is they actually the uh, a lap belt was for was previously installed in uh, the front seat um, by one of the previous owners and I just decided to order another matching black one to uh, uh, to complement the one that I already had I so hope this was uh, informative to you again this is how I installed shocks in <laughs> Folks, I <laughs> I'm gonna get this. I know I am. <laughs> I so hope this was informative to you. This is how I installed seatbelts in my Model A. Again, this is just uh, an information on how and what I did. Uh, this is not a how-to video, so that's my disclaimer to y'all. Now, if you are at all observant, you might have noticed something sitting over here on the floor. But if you didn't, 
we've got a video coming up on how we are going to install the Ken Davis shock absorber set. Now I'm really excited about this because uh, not only are we going to be installing these shock absorbers, but we are going to be doing front brakes and we're going to be doing kingpins. So make sure you like and subscribe us. It's so important to us. Uh, get uh, Hit that notification bell so that you get videos as soon as I upload them. And hope you have a wonderful day, but most of all, be blessed.